Hey, what's up? This is the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Daniel Jacobs. Keep it here, keep it locked right here on Real Fans, Real Talk. If the fight were to happen, Pacquiao versus Mayweather, who do you think would win? Uh, I never predict fights that I might have to keep scoring. So, you know, I'm not partial to one guy or another. It would be a great fight, though. Southpaw against the right-handed guy. Power puncher in Pacquiao against the speed guy in Mayweather. It's a great fight. Do you think the fight will ever happen? Oh, definitely. Definitely. All right. Do you think that Floyd Mayweather will remain undefeated throughout the course of his career? Uh, well, it looks that way. I mean, you never know. You, you know, I mean, guys get older. He's 39 already, I believe. Do you think if Pacquiao gets back to his winning ways that we'll eventually see the fight that everyone was anticipating between Pacquiao and Mayweather? Well, you know, Mayweather's one of these legend guys. You know, he believes in his legend, what, he's, what people are going to think of him after he's retired. And really, he's going to have a hard time cementing his legend without fighting Manny Pacquiao. So somewhere down the line, I really think he's going to take the Pacquiao fight. Eventually, it's going to have to happen. I mean, we waited five years for, for, for probably the biggest fight in boxing in a long time to happen. And we finally got it, Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Now, we didn't ask everybody that came on the show this question. So we got to ask, ask the champ as well. Who are you taking Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao? I'm just, I'm going to leave it short and simple, you know. Uh, I'm not going to go with too many explanations. I'm going to leave it short and simple. Uh, I think Floyd will win the fight if he do what he have to do because he he, he, he got a, some great defense, and uh, he's a different specialist, of course. Uh, but I do feel if the fight is any bit close, that the fight, they'll give it to Manny. Like I said again, it's many times what we see a guy dominate a fight, but the judges have another one. I feel like if it be close, they'll give it to Manny. And, 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 and just think about a rematch, even more money. You know, so you just have to think about it. Um, you know, Manny don't have too much defense. He, he'd rather punch and then give a punch than, than anything. So overall, it's going to be a great fight. I'll definitely be there. And um, I'll be watching. Hopefully, those guys, you know, I hope the height live up to the fight, you know. I hope, you know, everybody been hyped about this fight for, like you said, five years. I hope it don't be like a boring fight. Like we, everybody been hyped, and he gets uh, like, "What the fuck?" Like, yeah. you know. But um, I think it's gonna be an exciting fight because both. I, I feel Manny don't have nothing to lose, so I think he's gonna bring it a little bit harder than Floyd because he don't have nothing to lose. I mean, he done lost many times and he, and, and stuff like that. Floyd's still living his legacy. He's trying to he had to live up to his legacy, and that's pressure, right there. You know. Uh, but I, I think he'll take it away. So we'll we'll see. That's just uh, my opinion. You know, uh, my little one sitting up in the in the, in the penny jar. So we'll see what happens. Right now, we have one of the biggest fights in boxing, you know, in, in, in a couple of weeks. Uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, five years in the making. And we've been going around every, you know, every person that we've had on the show, we asked them this question, who you got, Floyd Money Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao? You know, I, I, know, I, may, I know Mayweather. I've never met Pacquiao, but I don't know. It's going to be a tough fight. I think Pacquiao's going to pull it off. All right, we got one, one, one for the one for the Pacquiao side. So now, do you do you feel like uh, that boxing is a dying sport? You know, it, fights like this bring it back. I mean, it's like this all the time. Uh, normally, it's a heavyweight fight that brings it back, but uh, this fight's brought a lot of attention. What UFC's ever ever charged a hundred dollars plus for pay per view? Yeah, boxing's back. Yeah, def definitely. I mean, do you think that is is fair to the fans though to charge a hundred dollars for a pay per view? Well, if the fighters weren't so greedy making 180 million each, you know, it wouldn't be, but you got to pay them somehow. All right, all right. And I got I got I got to I got to say this because you made your debut on the undercard for the Floyd Mayweather versus Ricky had another big fight. What, what what was it like just being on on the same card as one of the greatest to ever do it? You know, that's a tremendous opportunity in itself. You know, most guys when they first turn professional, they don't have an opportunity to fight on a big scale like that. You know, they turn pro in maybe like a club show or somewhere like that. Small atmosphere, small audience. But with me, I had the greatest opportunity to fight on the greatest ever, Floyd Mayweather, Ricky Hatton. You know, his, his fan base was tremendous, so they came over from the UK. It was USA versus the UK. And they were chanting, they were screaming. The energy was amazing. And for me to witness that my first time around, I found a new love for the sport. And, you know, it drove me to be at this place where I am now in my career. One of the more interesting topics and the debated topics nowadays, if you're following boxing, obviously, is uh, Mayweather Pacquiao, all the drama behind it. Do you think the fight will ever happen? And if it does, who do you think would win? I don't know what those guys are doing. Had they both trained and, and kept fighting, and uh, I, 
it would have been a pick'em fight, but I still think it's a pick'em fight. I, I think they're kind of torn with each other. They 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 going through some changes and stuff, but whoever brings it that night, I think can win the fight. Either either one of those guys can win the fight. Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao, if the fight actually goes down, who's gonna win? Well, I would have said about eight months a year ago, I would have picked Pacquiao. Um, Pacquiao's not the same fighter anymore. He doesn't have that that hop. He 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 just can't do what he used to do. Um, I don't know if it's the personal trainer overtraining him, or he shot. He just don't have he just don't have it right now. You know. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. If it ever goes down, who are you taking? Wow. Um, I, I I personally myself I think. I mean, Floyd just has the style to make it happen because he can capitalize on the mistakes. He doesn't make many mistakes. Mistakes. He doesn't open up. Uh, he's very and he sticks with his guns. He'll stick with what works for him until it finally works. Like he may not, you know, one round, two round, three round. He may be getting out work, but eventually, come the fifth round, sixth round, seventh round, he starts to find the openings and he's strong all the way through. His reflex, reflexes are crazy and he hits a lot harder than people give him credit for. So. Um, I, I would, I would actually, I would see him beating Pacquiao, but Manny at the same time, he can hit hard. He hits from many different angles. He's a southpaw, which um, I, I'm not sure if Floyd's seen a lot of him, but I'm sure he'll be able to adapt. It's a great fight, though. It's a great fight. All right, getting back to boxing, we're going to take uh, one of our fan mail questions. Uh, Harold from Brooklyn writes in, is there any fighter that has a legitimate chance of beating Floyd Mayweather? What do you think? No. I don't think so. I mean, there's, there's nobody now. There's nobody out there. I mean, well, Floyd's, what, 147 now, 156? I don't know what weight. They go up and down. Yeah, and he's been going, he goes back and forth right. between, between the, the two. So, I don't see nobody doing it right now. Could you have beaten him during your day? You know what? You're from Brooklyn, so I'm going to say yes automatically. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I um, I'm more of a sharpshooter, as far as like a Tommy Hearns type of style, and it would have been tougher for him because now he's now he's got to come to me. I'm not gonna chase you. Who who from your generation would you say compares most to Floyd Mayweather, as far as uh, fight styles? Styles. <sighs> fight style. I would say Pernell Whitaker, but Pernell was much, you couldn't hit him, it's hard to hit. Floyd is not, he's not easy to hit, but you can hit him. Um, compare him to nobody. Do you think he would dominate in that generation like he dominates this generation of fighters? No, no. Too many, too many punchers. Like you know, Aaron Pryor, guys like Pryor, Tommy Hearns, you know, um, Ray Leonard. You know, the old time fighters, you know, you got a guy doing this here. You keep banging him on the arm. Bang, they keep going after the man's head. Leave the man's head alone. Yeah. You okay. kill this, it's going to go. So then you think there is a recipe to beat Floyd Mayweather? Oh, yeah. N nobody just no. has been able to figure it out and not at all and you know you know fighters picked who they want to fight today you know back when we were fighting we had to fight who the promoters picked so it's a little bit easier more of a prima donnas nowadays oh a whole lot of them <laughs> uh, i want to thank harold for writing in if you want to write in your fan mail questions it's fan mail at <coughs> real fans real talk dot com face facts what up what up Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan.